Family, we are going deeper in our understanding of kingdom praise. So today, the question we want to answer is, why kingdom praise? Why should we praise? Or why do you praise God? Now, the very first thing that I would like us to understand about praise is that praise unto our God is a command from Him. Praise to God is a command from Him. Scripture commands us, instructs us to praise God. I'll read to you 1 Chronicles verse chapter 16 and verse 28 from the Good News Bible. It says this, Praise the Lord, all people on earth. Praise His glory and might. Amen. I want you to notice that Praise the Lord is not a suggestion to us. It is an instruction. It is a command. So when next you praise God, understand that it is an instruction from Him, that we should praise Him. Amen. Now, there are so many reasons why we praise Him, and we'll do our best to examine as many reasons why we should praise Him. Now, Deuteronomy 10 verse 21, I'll read this to you from the Good News Translation. It says this, Praise Him, He is your God, and you have seen with your own eyes the great and outstanding things that He has done for you. Amen? It says, Praise Him, He is your God. Praise Him. So when you praise Him, I'll repeat this again. Remember that it is an instruction from God. Amen? Another reason why we praise God is because He is worthy of our praises. He is deserving of it. Amen. So when next you praise Him, understand that God is worthy, that He is deserving of the praise. So we're going to look at quite a few scriptures that tell us that God is indeed worthy of our praises. Psalm 18 verse 3, I'll read um, from the New International Version. It says, I called on the Lord. Who is worthy of praise and he saved me from my enemies amen I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise so our God is worthy of praise that's why we praise him Psalm 48 verse 1 a from the New Living Translation I'll read how great is the Lord how deserving of praise amen how great is the Lord how deserving of praise Psalm 145 verse 3 and i read from the new living translation it says this great is the lord he is most worthy of praise no one measure his greatness amen he is most worthy of praise why do we praise him because he is worthy of praise he is deserving of praise he is most worthy of praise an attempt to praise someone who is not worthy of praise is flattery and deception. So we praise him because it is a command and because he's worthy and deserving of it. Another reason why we praise our God is because creation praises him. Creation praises him. I'll read to you Psalms 19 verse 1 to 4 from the New International Version. It says this, the heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voices goes or their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. Amen. Creation has a way of praising God through the excellence of its manifestation of the glory of the Lord. Amen. We praise God again because we reverence him. Amen. Psalms 22 verse 23, as I read from the New International Version, says this, You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descend descendants of Jacob, honor him, revere him, all 
you descendants of Israel. Amen. So another reason why we praise God is because we reverence him. The Bible says that you who fear the Lord, meaning you who reverence him, you who honor him, praise him. Amen. We also praise God because it is God's preferred habitat. Psalms 22 verse 3, I'll read to you from the New International Version, says this, But you are holy, you who inhabit the praises of Israel. But you are holy, you who inhabit the praises of Israel. Amen. You know, our praise unto God is God's preferred habitat. He dwells in our praises. You know, his presence is tangible in an atmosphere of praise. You know, grumpiness, sadness, complaints, and all the negative things cannot harbor his presence, but praises will harbor his presence. Amen. Another outstanding reason why we praise God is because praise, our praise unto him is an access. It's a password. Let's take a look at what the scripture has to say about this. I'll read Psalms 100 verse 4 from the New International Version. And I'll also read Psalms 100 verse 4 from the Message Translation. So the NIV says this, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Amen. We are admonished to enter his gates with thanksgiving. So praises usher us or grants us access through into his gate or through his gates. Amen. Um, the message translation words it this way. Enter with the password. Thank you. That is so wonderful and beautiful. It says enter with the password. Thank you. Make yourselves at home talking praise. Thank him. Worship him. This fills my heart with so much joy. Family, praise. We praise God because it is our access and it is our password. Do you want to gain entrance into his gates? Use the password. Praise is your password. You know, most often passwords are hidden from us, but we thank God for God. We thank God for his word. He makes everything open and available to us. So we know the password. Praise. Praise is our password. Amen. Another reason why we praise God is because joy, joy is full when we praise him. Our joy, our joy is full. There is fullness of joy when we praise him. Psalms 16 verse 11, I'll read to you from the New International Version. It says this, you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Amen. Your joy is full when you praise him. Joy is the byproduct of dwelling in his presence of praise. Amen. You become joyful because you praise. You do not praise because you are joyful. That is very important to know. You become joyful because you praise. You do not praise because you are joyful. Otherwise, the Bible will not often refer to praises as sacrifices of praise. Now, what are we talking about? When you get into the presence of God to praise him, you do not praise him because of your circumstances, because your circumstances can actually be um, those that will not permit you to offer praises unto him. So, but when you praise him, you eventually become joyful. You are not necessarily joyful or happy while you praise, but praises will, off, will usher you to a place of joyfulness. Amen. And when the Bible talks about sacrifices of praise, it's because Praise is not always convenient, yet we do it because that's what the Father um, loves. That's where he likes to dwell. That is our password. That is our access. Amen. Why else do we praise him? We praise him because it is good. Amen. We all like to do good things, right? Psalms 54 verse 6, I'll read to you from the New, New King James Version. It says, I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, Lord, 
for it is good. Amen. I will praise your name, Lord, for it is good. It is not only good to praise God. It is a godly thing to do. And it is the right thing to do. Amen. So praise him because you understand it is good and it is godly to do so. Now we also praise him because of his promises to us. We have many reasons to thank him for fulfilled promises, for prophecies we have received that we know will be fulfilled subsequently. We have reasons to praise him for future promises. Amen. Psalms 56 verse 10, I'll read to you from the New Living Translation. It says this, I praise God for what he has promised me. Yes, I praise God for what he has promised me. Amen. Let's praise him because of his promises to us. Many people have not seen the tangible manifestation of his promises in their lives. Some have experienced fulfillment of his promises in their lives. Irrespective of the category we find ourselves, we ought to praise him. We praise him for what he had done, what he is doing, and what he plans to do. Amen. And lastly, or lastly, we're going to examine another reason why we praise God. We praise Him for unfailing love and enduring faithfulness. For unfailing love and enduring faithfulness. Psalms 117 verse 2, as I read from the New Living Translation, says this, For His unfailing love for us is powerful. The Lord's faithfulness endures forever. Praise the Lord. Amen. Psalms 138 verse 2, be as I read from the New Living Translation, says this, I praise your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness for your promises are backed by all the honor of your name. Hallelujah. So let's praise God with understanding. We have listed quite a few reasons why we praise God. Another reason could be because he answered your prayers. The Bible says that I'll praise you for you have answered me and have become my salvation. Family, there are so many reasons. We cannot exhaust all the reasons. But now we have a good understanding of why we should praise God. So family, I encourage you, abound in kingdom praises unto the king of glory for he is deserving of our praises he is worthy of our praises he has done so many wondrous things for us do not keep your mouth closed praise the lord express your praises unto him for his glory amen and amen